So what you should have drawn on your table is first a leaf. Okay. This should take up the majority of your table. Okay. Draw it nice and large because we're going to be drawing some things inside. So it says on opposite sides of the leaf, on one end you're going to draw a chloroplast. I'm going to put little thylakoid so it looks like a chloroplast. And then on the other side, you're drawing a mitochondria. Okay. It says to label both. I'm just going to write chloroplast on one side, mitochondria on the other. And then inside the chloroplast, I'm writing photosynthesis because that is where photosynthesis occurs. And then inside the mitochondria, I'm writing cellular respiration because the cell because cellular respiration occurs in the mitochondria. Now, in the middle of those two, I'm going to write glucose. And the formula for glucose is C6H12O6. Okay. Let's start there. The next thing that the directions tell me to do is to draw a sun outside of the leaf. This is my nice sun. I'm not very good at drawing, but I'm making it work. And then it tells me that I need to draw an arrow from the sunlight to the chloroplast. This is basically telling me this arrow represents that I am starting with energy from the sun, that energy from the sun goes into the chloroplast because it's needed for photosynthesis. Then the next direction is to draw an arrow from the chloroplast to glucose. This is telling me that I am producing glucose from photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is producing glucose. Glucose is just sugar. And then the next direction says that to draw an arrow from glucose to the mitochondria. Remember that in cellular respiration, one of, woo, one of the reactants is glucose. So glucose is going into the mitochondria. The next thing I'm told to do is to draw ATP outside of the leaf and then to draw an arrow from the mitochondria to ATP. So you'll notice this doesn't have everything, like every reactant and product from photosynthesis and cellular respiration, but this tells you a basic flow. A leaf does both processes of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. The sunlight... The energy from the sun goes into the chloroplast for photosynthesis. That means that sunlight energy is used. And then photosynthesis produces glucose. That glucose is then used as a reactant for cellular respiration in the mitochondria, which then produces ATP, another form of chemical energy. So this was to help you for part one of the drawing. Okay, for part one.